From the studios at Bossier Parish Community College, this is Bipsy News. Thank goodness it's Friday, everyone. Hope you've all had a great week. I'm Corey Williams. And I'm Jordan Ginn. Thanks for tuning in to Bipsy News. The online election for our Student Government Association closed today at 12 noon. A big thank you to all students who participated in the voting process. Results of the election will be posted online. Remember, SGA meetings are held on Tuesdays at 3.30 p.m. in Building F, Room 220. The meetings are also open to all currently enrolled students. All SGA members will be required to attend. Placement testing will take place this coming Monday at 12.30 p.m. Whether you're a new, transfer, or continuing student, take the placement test. It's a great way for you if you have a low ACT score or just looking to try and skip over developmental courses. You can view this list of guidelines for placement testing on our website at bipsy.edu. The Office of, Fine of Academic Planning is also available by phone and email at 318-678-6335 or at academics at bitsy.edu. BCM meetings are held regularly on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. with the exception of the first Thursday of each month. Meetings are held in Building F, Room 220. Thursday evenings, BCM holds an off-campus worship service at LSUS at 7.30 p.m. For more information or details, you can contact Jamie Drudy via email at jdrudy at gmail.com. BCM also holds Bible studies exclusive to women on Mondays from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. in room F220. You can also contact Jamie Drudy for more details. Now, Jordan, I heard we're in for some rain, but it's looking pretty sunny out today. What do you think about that? I hope it stays sunny, but Matthew Craig will have all the answers for us coming up after the break. My husband drinks with friends after work. He has a couple of drinks at home with dinner and a few more while we watch TV. A counselor recommended I try Al-Anon family groups. I didn't want to go to Al-Anon, but I'm sure glad I did. Is someone's drinking breaking your heart? You might be surprised at what you can learn at an Al-Anon family group from people just like you. Call 1-888-4-ALANON or go to alanon.org. Bossier Parish Community College, the fastest growing community college in the nation. Wonder why? We at the Bossier Chamber of Commerce value our partnership with Bossier Parish Community College as an educator and a trainer for the local business industry. Together, we will help Northwest Louisiana grow. And Bipsy's nursing program educates students for the workforce. Our state-of-the-art lab has allowed us to get hands-on experience with real-life case studies. As a graduate, I was able to find a job right after graduation. Check us out. You'll understand why. Bossier Parish Community College, the fastest growing community college in the nation. Wonder why? The arts are crucial to Bossier Parish Community College. We provide opportunities to our students in film, in television, in acting, in music. They get that training here at Bipsy with direct, hands-on approach. They can then take that training back out into the community and get a job. Here at Bossier Parish Community College, there are so many opportunities and classes that are offered to you. It's like the whole world of theater is right here at Bipsy. Check us out. You'll understand why. Bossier Parish Community College, the fastest growing community college in the nation. Wonder why? The Division of Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics at Bossier Parish Community College provide cutting edge technology to students, along with national certifications that allow them to be competitive in today's job market. Uh, the main reason I decided to come to Bossier Parish Community College was when I looked at the networking program, it was the best in the area. Bossier Parish Community College. Check us out. You'll understand why. Thank you for joining us. I'm Matthew Craig. I'll be covering today's weather for you. Let's take a look at our national weather so we can see what's coming our way. Okay, it seems like the rain passed us by, which we have experienced yesterday and maybe we experienced today, but it may be a cool front that may affect our weather throughout the week. So let's take a look at our surrounding area temperatures so we can see what it affected. Right over here in Marshall, we have an 82. In Natchitoches, we have, Nacogdoches, I'm sorry, we have a 77. Shreveport, Bossier, Louisiana, we have an 81. And above us, we have Texarkana, which is 81. And right next to us, we have Minden, which is an 84. Rushton, which is 84. And Natchitoches, which is an 84 also. Let's take a look at our five days so we can see our highs and our lows throughout the week, and we can see if any rain is coming our way. 
Okay, today we have a 93 for the high or a 20% chance of rain with a 67 for the low. Saturday and Sunday, we have no chance of rain in sight. We have an 81 for the high Saturday and Sunday and a 57 for the low and a 59 for the low Sunday. So there's good weather to end the week out and cool weather to start the day. And Monday, Tuesday, to start our weeks out, we have an 86 for the high with no chance of rain. And Tuesday, we have no chance of rain with an 87 for the high. And we have a pretty good low weather with 69, 61 for the low and 69 for the low Tuesday. So there's good weather throughout the week and good weather to start the week. Like I said, we may experience some rain today, so make sure you have your coats and your umbrellas ready. Ready, I'm sorry. Well, that's it for me. I'm Matthew Craig. Enjoy the rest of your day. It's the 14th anniversary of 9-11. We here at Bipsy pay respect to the many lives lost that day, and many speak on what they remember about that tragic day. coming closer and closer from all different directions and enveloped us and, and turned to pitch black, which is the point where I got uh, the most terrified, of course, because, uh, you know, I, I clearly stayed too long. But uh, it, it's, it's just hard, I mean, it's, it's hard to fathom, you know, as we all see on the video. I was shocked, just like everybody else in America. I mean, it's one of those moments where, you know, you do remember you for the rest of your life where you were at at that day. And just in, once I was uh, enveloped with the blackness of the smoke, it was everything was just an eerie, eerie silence. I was in the seventh grade at Broadmoor Middle Lab in an art class. And uh, trying to just walk, cover my mouth with my shirt, um, just feeling my way across Broadway to try to get somewhere, anywhere, in an office building, in a bank, uh, find a subway entrance. Uh, I was in high school actually. Um, we had class that day, but we didn't really have class. Everyone just kind of sat around and watched the TV all day, and that was pretty much it. On 9-11, I was at the Eastland Country Club over in Houghton, Louisiana, and I was playing golf. And I noticed that Air Force One flew over, and I was wondering why Air Force One flew over. And after we got done playing golf, I went to Applebee's, and that's when I discovered what was going on. I don't think I actually realized what was going on until I got home that day. At school it was pretty confusing because the teachers turned on the TV, but I don't think they were allowed to tell us what was happening and then uh, school actually got out early that day and it wasn't until my mom explained like the gravity of the situation until that afternoon. Uh, but the, you know, just killing Americans on American soil was really a, you know, a tragic moment for me and my family and all the, you know, everyone was touched by it, certainly. Coming up, we'll be learning about our city. What's going on in the 318? I'm a wife. A sister. And a grandfather. I'm an office clerk. I'm a research analyst. Dance fitness instructor. Actor. I'm a copywriter. I'm a veteran. I have lupus. Cerebral palsy. I'm blind. And I'm working in a job I love. I love. Because I was given a chance. To contribute my skills and talents. To show that my disability is only one part of who I am. Who I am. Who I am. At work, it's what people can do that matters. For more information, visit whatcanyoudocampaign.org.
I teach a wide variety of things, including film editing, directing, documentary making, lighting. I fell in love with art as a young child, and it's just always something that has stuck with me. You know, I love the whole process of going on set, going back into the editing room, telling a story. That's what I, I really love about film. I got laid off from my job, and I figured this was the perfect opportunity to go to school to get a degree for it. As a kid, I was really into geeky stuff. I couldn't think of anything else that I would rather do. They really provide you with uh, the equipment and, uh, you know, the necessary tools in order to, you know, advance in a career, especially in communications field. Well, one thing that really drew me to video production especially is uh, it's just a way to reach people. And as someone who likes to communicate uh, with other people, I felt that mass communication, especially broadcasting, was a tool that I could use. You get some hands-on experience. They've got good stuff to work with. They really know what they're doing, and, and they're willing to pass it on. When our students leave Bossier Parish Community College, they are equipped to get a job immediately, or they can move on to a four-year degree. Welcome to Bipsy Sports, I'm Caleb Moore. The Bipsy Intramurals will sponsor an open rec time for students, faculty, and staff on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 12 to 12.45 p.m. in the Bipsy Gymnasium. Come by and shoot some hoops, play some ping pong, and much more. Be sure and bring a valid Bipsy student ID. It is required in order to participate. For more information, contact Ashley Grissom at agrissom at bipsy.edu. Bipsy Intramurals is also putting on a home run derby the Derby takes place on October 14th at 3 p.m. on the Bipsy softball field. Prizes will be awarded to first and second place winners. The First Lady Cavaliers home softball game is this Saturday at 9 a.m. The game will take place at the Bipsy softball field here on campus as they face off in the Danielle Jones Memorial Tournament. And this Saturday is also the first contest for the Cavaliers baseball team when they face off against TCS Postgrad. First pitch is scheduled for 12 p.m. here on campus. Today is, I'm sure, as everyone is well aware, the 14th anniversary of the terrorist attack on the World Trade Center in downtown New York. I would like to take a second to remember the firemen and women, cops and first responders who lost their lives that day, along with the thousands of others. My prayers go out to all the families and friends of loved ones still affected by that senseless tragedy still this day. Once again, thanks for watching Bipsy Sports. I'm Caleb Moore. Corey and Jordan, back to you. Shreveport and Bossier are your community, and we here at Bipsy like to know what's going on locally. Check out our pilot segment, What's Live in the 318. Hi there, and welcome to Bipsy TV. I'm Ked Henderson, and this is What's Live in the 318. Friday, September 11th, we'll be remembering the troops at the Boone Community Care 9-11th Remembrance Walk at Brownie Park this weekend. It'll run from 6 to 7 p.m. at 4307 Old Brownlee Road, Bolger City. It is a free event, so come out and bring your family and friends to support the troops. If you're feeling more inclined to stay in on the September the 11th continuum, a show about time-traveling rebels and Z Nation, a show about zombies and survival, will be airing this Friday night on Sci-Fi. Science fiction not your thing? Try watching Tyler Perry's For Better or Worse on OWN. Movies this weekend include the Visit, rated PG-13, is the fall's first cult horror film and follows the happening of two siblings who meet their grandparents for the first time. Only Nana and Papa have more sinister plans on their agenda than just baking cookies and talking about their corns. The Perfect Guy, another PG-13 thriller, might be more of your alley though. A young woman with a bright future meets Mr. Right, but things turn dark when Mr. Right starts doing all the wrong things. Get your palette ready. For Saturday, September 12th, there will be a food truck throwdown from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. in a Red River district. If live music, cash prizes, and food interest you, come to 1601 Spring Street this Saturday. This Saturday is also good for you lovers of arts and stage. The Shreveport Metropolitan is holding a dance showcase called for dance, where several different mediums of dance will be performed for your viewing pleasure in honor of fall. Tickets for the Fall for Dance performance and VIP event are available online or by contacting the SMB office at 318-221-8500.
For the sports fan, Battle on the Border is a high school football event involving different teams from across the tri-state area. It'll be going on from September 10th through the 12th. $15 for the first day of admission and $10 for advanced admission. On the final event on Saturday's ballot is the Identity Crisis Post Race at the Harry's Louisiana Downs Super Derby 36. It's completely free. Starts at 10 a.m. with the final race starting at 5.30 p.m. Sunday, September 13, 99X will be hosting X-Fest 15 from 12 p.m. to 11 p.m. The event is hosted at Festival Plaza, will feature more talents of Hailstorm, Trap, and some other great acts. This will be the Battle of the Band events, offering prizes to the first and second winners of the event. Tickets will be $35 for the general admission and $99 for VIP. Enjoy bands, food, vendors, and much more. Well, that's all we have for today, folks. Don't forget to live this weekend. I'm Ked Henderson, and this has been What's Live in the 318. Once again, thank you for tuning in to Bipsy News. I'm Corey Williams. And I'm Jordan Ginn. Make sure you stay tuned in for a taste of Bipsy coming up next.